morning and welcome to the Capital Gang. I am Oscar Semwe Amsoke and this morning I have Ofono Pondo in the studio in a fancy flowery shirt. A bit big on the size, maybe because he's been doing a lot of uh, exercise. Is that the case? Good morning. Uh, oh. <laughs> I beg your pardon? This, this is what? Katenu Leke Matirio. You see, it is a bit where I can't yeah, tell you It's Katesh story, so it's... I said the Lake. So I didn't uh, stay to <laughs> see, 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 if you come from Tazanga, mm. and you have just sprouted in Kampala, <laughs> you have uh, little appreciation of <laughs> style and standard <laughs> and class. He's never been to a beach. No, he has never been. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Oscar. And you see it is now sunny, mm. so you need to lose... Loose shirt. Yeah, loose shirt yeah. Okay. But yes, I've been in the Galbanting in the Tenso side. Mm. I'm glad to be back in a long way after long Back, way. yes. Tell me about farming in northern Uganda. Northern Uganda, there's um, good land there. All that belt of Teso, Lama mm. Choli, and up to Zomba, I should say. Mm. Expansive. So for people who want to do extensive modern farming whether crops or livestock it is the place now that peace and stability has returned uh, we need no, no we, we need big people with big money not big people in government but big people with big money with big ideas to kind of transform that place one of the things i'm finding out particularly in teso is that uh, we the educated the ones who got education and we got good jobs in the Kampala. Throughout, since the 60s, we never went back to invest. Mm -hmm. And consequently, we left the village to people who hadn't got education. Even this harassment of Karamajong, partly in my view, yes, the state should provide overall security, but partly in my view is that uh, if you have a peasant's cow stolen, and it's the peasant calling the DPC, the DPS will take his time <laughs> to respond. The, is, the DC will take his time to respond. The cow will take his time to respond if people want water. But if you have a Semujo, you have Kateshumba, you have Ofono, you have Oscar, who have invested there. If a cow is stolen from Oscar's crowd, Oscar will come on capital gang, will make news. The Minister of Defense, the Minister of Internal Affairs, the police people will not sleep. And they will tackle that criminality uh, vigorously and I think now I, I am beginning to actually, see. Actually now the cameras are helping us. Mm. Mm. We have cows stolen in, uh, in Shema. We have used the police cameras on the highway. On the highway. Now what Semuji is talking about the Balad? I think people in northern Uganda are not chasing the Balad. Mm. What they are disagreeing with is their own elites who connive taking advantage of the ignorance of the local people you discover that somebody has signed off either family land or clan land or community land. But if things are done transparently, I don't see any problem. You don't hear much of that complaint in Teso Belt now. Mm. But there are people from Te outside Teso Belt who are fighting Karamjong. Yeah. There, there are no, people not from outside Teso, uh, people from uh, Bukedi, who, where they don't have land. You find there people from uh, Bunyori, people from West Budama, people from Sami, who are there legitimately through transparent means mm. um, yes so most welcome to gang honorable katesh honorable semuju uh malcolm pamizo uh honorable semuju were you one of those that uh, were bounced at luba hospital once again <laughs> no i have uh, <clears throat> i have not gone to Luboa. I was supposed to have gone with the lead of opposition because I am now a member of his shadow cabinet, but I didn't make it. Um, <clears throat> but I think uh, he went with colleagues knowing that uh, maybe they will bounce them. I saw a photograph in Monta yesterday of the Honorable Roth Acheng, the Permanent Secretary of Health, Diana Atwine, and uh, and uh, <coughs> the Honorable Thomas Tayewa, by that time, he was 
an MP for Rohinda. They had been bounced, the Minister of Health and her permanent secretary. Yet the agreement that government signed with the Enrica Pinetti, that uh, Angel Ike investor, the agreement was that uh, the Ministry of Health will be the executing agency on behalf of Uganda, because maybe those who are not familiar with it. First, there was a, a discussion that nobody knew about between President M7 and Enrica. Then it was formally it was formalized by Minister of Health writing to Solicitor General to clear um, to clear an agreement that the government of Uganda will be the one uh, will be the one <coughs> I don't know I don't, I don't know maybe guarantee uh, guarantee not just guarantee mm. but were the one supposed to be paying for the promissory notes. If you want to put it in ordinary language, when Rika went to, was supposed to go and borrow money from banks, our undertaking as a government was that uh, we will be the one cashing uh, that loan for a period of eight years, and then the facility will become Uganda's. Initially, the Solicitor General said there was no need, there was no need for parliamentary clearance. I think along the way they realized that no, 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 it falls under parliament. They came parliament running that this agreement we must we must uh, guarantee immediately because if not you're going to begin paying fines and the hospital is supposed to have been constructed in two in two years but that agreement where we are guaranteeing that we will pay and we will buy the facility the minister for health was supposed to be the executing agency for uganda the latest report of the auditor general says the Minister of Health is, was supposed to have, government was supposed to have a resident engineer working with the Enrica, the Angel IK investors engineer for them to be clearing certificates for payment. Because so far, we have paid 156 million US dollar, about 550 billion. That payment is for us to eventually acquire the facility in eight years. So the Enrica was supposed to be building the resident Indian Bureau of Government certifying that actually I'm satisfied by this stage and then government will be paying. Unfortunately, the government engineer was chased away. The Enrica's engineer is the one who originates certificate and certifies them and uh, presents for payment. But the core of the auditor general is that, uh, yes, that continued for some time. But even that process of uh, the investors engineer cert issuing a certificate stopped, but payment continued. And the auditor general says uh, the payment that has, has been made without any certificate is worth 70 million US dollar. So you can imagine why Enrica will not want anyone to enter there. And... Uh, the, the going there of the Honorable Senior and, her, and his team was not actually to access the facility per se, but to continue raising the profile of that scan. Mm. That you guys, as you are sleeping, this thing is still ongoing. And maybe that's why you have it today as, as, as part of the discussion. So that's where we are, Oscar, as a country. This Enrica in Uganda speaks only to Mr. M7. I have been told by NRM people that even when they go for meetings where she's invited, she's just barking at, uh, at people. So there is a huge fear. When we are doing the budget, the Honorable Kateshuma and I sit on the budget committee. But, but Honorable Seven, did she come to Parliament? The, the, um, N, I said NRM. Oh. Yeah, I said NRM MPs have told me if she was coming to Parliament, I would be the one telling you. But he has been no, in the one point of the I'm meetings. making is she refused to come. She can't come. So someone who can say a minister of health will not enter to inspect a facility, a facility that she's supposed to be overseeing on behalf of government, how can she be summoned by parliament? So the, why are you blaming them? Blaming who? The NRM MPs. No, no, I am sympathizing, actually, not blaming them. <laughs> that even when they have gone for internal meetings where at least they can, they can extract some explanation, she's just backing at them. I asked the chairperson of the committee on a committee on on health the honorable ayumi when we are processing the budget framework paper 
why he was not reporting on Ruboa, yet Ruboa is part of health. And the Honorable Dr. Ayumi told the committee on budget that actually health, I mean, Ruboa has since been moved from health to Prime Minister's office. We had drama in the parliament last, this, this week. When the issues of Ruboa came, the Honorable Nakadama, one of the deputies to Nabanja, said, I will ask health. And then I told her, please, this matter was moved to, from health to your office. And he said, I am not aware. So really, Ruboa is, is such an interesting thing that uh, <clears throat> nobody in government except Mr. M7 can touch it, can speak about it. And it is a scandal that has been... Uh, that has been uh, in, in, in the often, maybe now we, we are at a point of no return because money is paid, work is not done, the agreement is not executed so it's real chaos uh, and I, I don't think anyone will ever be permitted by Pen uh, uh, Enerica Penetti to get closer to her mm. to her facility Malcolm, uh, sorry, uh, Honorable Katesh, you, you remember when we first had a discussion here, uh, and 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 uh, you said no one can go there. So on one of our Sunday walks, we went up to a building site on a, something like sixth floor, and that is my only sighting of Lubawa Hospital. There was a crane. Yours, yours is better than hmm? the MPS. <laughs> yeah, who my, my sighting was better than the MPS. <laughs> in, you, in, are, you are okay. He went to the neighborhood. <laughs> neighborhood. The building. Six so went on a, peep, peep, peep. So, uh, peep. <laughs> <laughs> but now the building is finished, so you can't use that trick. And next, and if 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 Enrika ever gets to know that you are climbing there, you will see what will happen to you. Get one of the tenants and visit him or her. Yes. On the sixth floor. Actually, that 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 could work. So, or if you join us for the walk tomorrow, we could go visit one of the tenants there. So, Katesh. Can we make that as a date? Yeah. And 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 then we'll see if the crane, if there are now two more cranes, but at the time there was one crane, there was a slab. And I think two graders. Yeah, but Oo is the so, spokesperson of government. <coughs> no, we are talking he, about he has, hospital. He has access to all. Actually, he has the information. Well, <laughs> I think. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing, Honorable Katun? No, my so, brothers are good morning. Mm, <laughs> well, well, welcome to gang, uh, Abdul Honorable Abdul Katun to uh, Ivan Nugamba. So go on, Katesh. Well, first of all, I think, uh, <clears throat> like any Ugandan, we are all disappointed about Nubo uh, Hospital. The groundbreaking, I recall, was on 1st of June, 2017. And uh, the, the, the date of completion was supposed to be June 2021. So that's uh, uh, three years. But now it is seven years. Seven years. And there is nothing to show. The government of Uganda issued a promissory note of $397 million. So the question is, where, where do we go from here? <laughs> because uh, Honorable Somju was referring to, I think, the 6th of August 2019, mm -hmm. when the, the team you have talked about the, 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 that then had uh, our current deputy speaker was denied access. So it was then, now, and I think the reasons why these things happen is because there is nothing to show. You have mentioned that in the budget, I think there was a, a request by the Minister of Health for money to supervise Ruba Hospital. Two billion. Two billion. Mm -hmm. And we asked, we asked the Minister of Health. <laughs> <laughs> we asked uh, the Minister of Health painfully, actually the Committee of Health, because we, as a budget committee, we don't interface directly with the entities. What exactly are you going to supervise? Because there is nothing going on. I think it is high time the government comes out and tells Ugandans what is going on at Lubowa. This is not the only project that government has been involved in. We have seen how successful the Munyonyo, the, the investments into Munyonyo, 
that were made where uh, okay, the price. yes uh, i don't want to go into the price because i'm not i didn't do any feasibility i'm not a varua but mr sudil dr sudil through his uh, his uh, farm worked to his government and we saw this oo was on the committee of nam and many others they they would frequently go and assess the progress i think even a committee of parliament went the the project was delivered you can ha in time you can you can have your questions about the value that's a different story but there is something to show and we had successful conferences but for you to have a project seven years and even parliament cannot go to see what is happening and uh, you know military is deployed police is deployed then there is something unclear about this project and it is important that government comes out and explains because even when we go to the, to our voters these are things that uh, people see we are not in the times of uh, darkness information moves people are on whatsapp when i'm in shema you refuse to see someone asking you about this because people have information so minister of health government the minister of finance must be able to to to, to clearly explain what is the status of this project mm. finally oscar for me when the groundbreaking the information came out about this project it was very exciting but the biggest problem that we always have is these things which are done without clear procedures because there was no procurement process i do not think there was any pre-feasibility study done uh, nowadays the national planning authority is involved in all these projects but uh, the, the idea of having specialized you know medical care in the country to prevent the forex outflow is is the idea that i'm talking about the the, the, the excitement bit but why do you have to uh circumvent all the rules all the procedures to the extent that someone thinks that he's above the law and is answerable to perhaps one center mm. and, and and then you end up having a problems where people do not have trust into the government uh, processes if there were clear uh, procedures in terms of how the, the the project's conceptualization up to the end we would be knowing but right now i think everybody is uh, is uh, disappointed and it is um, incumbent upon government to come out and uh, explain mm. maybe oo could be having a, a better well, let's, <laughs> update let's, but from a parliamentary pa point pa of view pa pass the microphone to him uh, mm. oh does, no does, information. does parliament matter anyway if you can just block him out of a uh, specialized pa 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 hospital site parliament matters and so I'm surprised by the lamentation of Parliament and members of Parliament. But there are two projects. Surprised? At a personal level, there are two projects that have uh, deliberately not bothered to follow up. One is the banana project. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, Dr. Muranga. That's how they call it. <laughs> I think it's a personal project. And then the reward. You, you. Yes. Both of these, this parliament and even the previous parliament, have been budgeting, appropriating. Okay, okay. The budget, you appropriate and treasury releases. We expect parliament to put its feet down and ask for a very nitty gritty of accountability through the mechanism they are very available to it. That's why Parliament is given immunity in the course of doing its work. Therefore, Parliament, in my view, has abdicated its responsibility. But you go and you go and holding. You, you no. go and you are still. Yes, I, 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 I don't. I, I, I don't. I don't. I don't enjoy. I, I don't enjoy the same level of immunity yes. as Parliament, because you interface with the president every other day, as committees, as the whole Parliament, including two 
annual meetings with the president, the state of the nation address, and the budget. Would the president kill parliament or members of parliament if they said, because of your lack of transparency and accountability on these projects, we are not approving your budget on these items? Be, yes, because, be, because we have had. We have, <laughs> hey. I agree with yes, him oh, there. We have had previously oh, where yes. Parliament put his feet down on there the I agree with him. <laughs> and he said, We are not passing the budget mm. unless this is done, this is done, this is done. And the president went back with his executive, his cabinet, and. But can uh, I. Uh, oh, yes. can, you, can, can you take information? Yes. For Munyonyo, yes. where Sudiri wanted 100 billion, we refused to pass the budget. But Mr. M7 paid and came back for supplementary approval. Uh, th that would be now a different matter for which you can actually hold him. No, but actually, actually on that point, oh, oh, I think you need to understand the budgeting process. What, what happens? Because you will realize that some of these projects where Parliament has not approved, for particular projects, we have even reallocated money to other projects. But if you use the route of supplementary, Three percent. What do you expect Parliament to do? Mm -hmm. Back to uh, well, the, the, me. I'm looking at so, or with different eyes. Yes. yes. So uh, the, the, that's the, the first <laughs> point mm. I'm raising. Mm. So I've actually, I've actually raised two that I have deliberately not bothered to follow because I foresaw the abuse and impunity with which these projects. And I'm not sure to see it. The president ought to be told that he doesn't look good when he brings an investor directly like this, which he has been doing, is a good thing for him to directly bring investors, but to bring investors who flout who, who flout the country's laws regulations on the false belief, perhaps that he will endlessly protect them the president doesn't come out nicely and he needs to be told both by we his supporters his workers but also by those that challenge us the the the, the opposition the civil society and the rest of uganda and i hope maybe through this discussion on this media the president going forward will hence change his method of handling the penalty in particular mm. and you see but part of that is that the president in my view you remember he has been insisting that people don't want value addition in coffee which is also for me and me i have said to him i have written publicly and i said the people are not disagreeing that we should not add value to our coffee the people who are disagreeing they are disagreeing the method of introducing the so-called value Ada, if there's such a word of Ada. Mm, the one who add. Mm. Yeah, yeah I'm speaking of the soccer in English, <laughs> but it's okay. <laughs> 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 and there has been a tendency that each time the president says people are unreasonably opposing him, those of us at the top, particularly in the cabinet, there is no counter argument against what the president says. And consequently, in my view, he has gotten, a, gotten away with this, that there are people who are opposed to value addition to coffee, which is, which is, uh, which is not the, the right word. So, for me, I, I, I suggest Parliament has all the instruments it has to hold the President accountable. Mm. If they fail, let them resign. We get another set of members of Parliament. Because all of this May I, I think members of the NRM can actually, if they have what it takes, they can say, Mr. President, you can either go with Pinetti or we, li we, we, we leave you go with Pinetti or you agree that Pinetti should be examined according to the rules of Uganda. But we cannot continue putting mm. money. Now, maybe the next time you should bring the Honorable Ruta Chen or Chero and the princess Diana Atwini, so that they make accountability. Because if they say they wanted two billion, no, 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 no. no. If you say 
they went there and they were denied access. Mm -hmm. But they were the same people who brought a proposal to have to be given two billion to go and supervise. What were they going to supervise? If it were me, the minister, if you have denied me access, I would go back to the president to look up and say, Mr. President, we are the one supposed to supervise this project under the Minister of Health. The person you brought has denied us access. Consequently, we have nothing to do with it. We put it in writing. If mm. the president wants to sack me as a minister or as a permanent secretary, let him go ahead and do it. But I would have discharged my body. I think in Uganda we have people in positions who are simply warming chairs. They don't want to discharge their body. Members of parliament should discharge their body of holding the president accountable. Okay. Abdul Katunta. Is uh, uh, Samuju donated some of his time to 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 a certain extent in meetings? But you you have the leverage, the instrument of denying him the budget. The information which maybe you may not have is that when we were in Changkwans, there was a serious discussion, and I think the Changkwans is not parliament. No, the caucus, caucus, the caucus, and the members, the. The members of NRM, yeah, actually you were there, you know what happened. So the members of uh, NRM actually spoke and uh, spoke out to the president. And that's why I think we had the uh, breaks on the pressure about the coffee deal that was... Uh, that was uh, moving very quickly. Katesh, and I think oh, the is a spokesman of government and NRM. He has said all these things deliberately. Mm. So, <laughs> <laughs> Abdul... <coughs> uh, on the hospital. Did you also trek to the hospital? Or oh, you no. join us on Sunday going to the uh, sixth floor? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I might be having better things to do on mm. Sunday. But uh, I, I think uh, Mr. Ofono Pondo has said it all. But let me give the history of this project. Around 2017, the idea of a specialized hospital came. And all of the justification was there, like Honorable Kateshi is saying. All of it, because all of us know how much money we spend, both public and private money in medical tourism to try to treat ailments uh, which is affecting our people. We are talking about hundreds of millions of dollars annually. And all countries really have this sort of facility, including our neighbor here in Tanzania, even small countries with small economies like Rwanda are also moving towards having that sort of facility. So when the idea came, we all got excited. But then red flags were raised. One, it started with the promissory notes. Because at, there was a first opinion of the then Attorney General, which said, yes, uh, we can, Minister of Finance can issue those promissory notes without parliamentary approval of $370 million. We, we said, no, that is not the legal position. And we stood firm. That legal opinion was in writing. So when we stood firm, that opinion was rescinded and said, no, I think you need parliamentary approval because it is actually borrowing. Mm. So the matter now came to parliament for approval. And we had all these debates. One of the issues we raised, was, there is no project in Uganda, single project, that will absorb $370 million in the 24 months. It's not possible. And, and if Patricia was a little bit more organized, I know she is, but more organized, she should have played our capital gang show that day, around 2018 or 2017. We, we told them, it's not possible. Even just preparing for that project to take off, you might need almost six months, mobilizing and so on, including preparing that side. It was not possible. So we just knew this was fake. Secondly, she started with three subcontractors. There were there some Chinese, and uh, actually it started with Rocco, mm. which Rocco was actually literally bankrupt mm. because it was running many government projects mm. and none of them was succeed was mm. succeeding, mm. including our parliament, which is still a problem up to now. Mm. So they started quarreling. They went in two courts, and the Rocco was paid some money and actually from the project two million dollars, four million dollars. I don't know how many. Two. For what? 
because there was a breach of contract. <laughs> now, the, after Rocco, the Chinese came in, mm. who were also fake. Mm. Then mm. from the Chinese, there is this other company that came in, which did the um, the bypass, what, mm. which was also fake. Everything about it has been fake, <laughs> fake, fake, fake <laughs> about uh, Ruboa. And let me ask one Wonderful thing. Would you say same, same. Same, same. <laughs> Oscar, mm. we have seen Madame Pinet in this country. Tell me, which project is, is she running which is successful? One. Mm. Let us yes. get to those which for public what? To our public knowledge. You have the coffee. We don't know how far it is. The other day, I saw high in tea. We don't know how far it is gone. Then we have uh, tourism roads. You know, where you are a jack of all trades and a master of none, that is Madame Pinetti. And the issue which arises, who is Pinetti really in this country? Getting literally everybody annoyed, angered, bitter, and a lot of money being spent. And there is no single value for money. We are seeing Oscar, as long as Pinetti remains what she is now, there's nothing you can do. However, OO is spot on. It, it is good that we have two lawyers on the show. You know, yes. these days UCC has started calling me. So, uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> but, but uh, I, I, I know they, my, at least me, I know the borders. Okay. You can be sure. Mm. I don't, I won't, you won't get in trouble. They might have been extended. Oscar is in trouble. Okay, even the common sense borders. These are I know political them. borders. <laughs> 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 so there are people in this country charged with the responsibility of mm. oversight <clears throat> and they are paid for it and that's the point OO is making they are really paid for it if for us we sit and say by the way we, there is nothing we can do I think there is a problem we have a process we have a forum where we can say no this is not possible anymore and I don't think the president would reach a level when he sees everything really Stand still. You know, as it is now, and you say, well, you can say so, but let us continue, you know, having this bottomless what? Pit. I think we need to wake up, especially Parliament. And and we don't want to be like OO, oh, oh, because OO oh, oh said on this one, he absconded. I don't think Parliament should abscond. I didn't use the word abscond, I said mm -hmm. deliberately. Which, which, okay, now I was redefining your deliberate, yes, not two. That is that is absconding. Yeah, in one word, it in is. one word. <laughs> Let's have Malcolm first, then you, Ivan. Uh, uh, thank you, Oscar, uh, and a very good morning to our listeners. Um, I I am a little dismayed when uh, my senior or, or starts his remarks with uh, the declaration of abdication and ends them by haranguing parliament and others for abdicating because when you say you deliberately chose not to abdication. and then you're saying others are not doing the same maybe you are quietly advising everyone involved that that's the best way to go about it because if they, maybe the, the, the Minister of Health and uh, the Permanent Secretary, after attempting to access, also thought the best two thing to do is to, to, to abdicate like everybody else is doing or seems to be doing. Oscar, I've, I've said several times on this show and in many other places that a product is always only as good as its process. If you don't follow the process, you will always have a shambolic product. And that is what we have in Luboa. If you can call it that anyway. Um, when, when the 2017 groundbreaking and, uh, uh, and parliament approval was coming through, the agreement had been signed as early as 2015. When there is a decision to spend nearly $400 million on a project and there is even a feeling that parliament, uh, uh, a co-equal branch of, of, of government like parliament, needn't be consulted, not even approval, but consultation, where the government is committing $400 million. Then you, you already, that doesn't pass the smell test. 
that in of itself. Then we, we obviously have the processes that have led, led to, to, to where we are. Is Parliament culpable? I, 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 I think I, I sympathize with them more than try to vilify them. Because there, there is evidence that they have tried. Um, we, we, we've heard from, from Katesh here that, and, and, and Semuju that once you kick it out in uh, the budget framework uh, paper, it comes through supplementary and, uh, and you, you, your hands are, are tied as, as parliament. Um, we have had uh, Pinetti in several uh, projects, let's call them, let's call them that. Uh, which are they themselves stalling? But this is not, this is not r really news, because there are several other projects that the government is involved in. Yes, there is, there is the apparently successful one in in uh, in Munyonyo, um, but we all know what happened uh, at Shimoni when there were protests. Do not bring this down. Do not, do not. There is nothing, and we spent years looking at bare ground, right in the middle of the city, as children and and teachers who are supposed to teach those children were languishing until they found a home somewhere uh, uh, close to Honorable Semuju's uh, constituency. Mm. Th this seems to smell of a lot of that um, and somewhere down the road uh, some the, the, the government will then come and apologize um, and, uh, and accept uh, responsibility and then uh, identify someone else to take over and, and and be able to, to to put something there that then we can point to and say you see now we have a development all the losses in between the, the idea of a specialized hospital is is is, is a good one I, I do not know whether it is a priority for for this country or in whether it was in 2015 when when you have sev yes 70 or so million dollars estimated as medical tourism on an annual basis and uh, 220 yes. uh, I, I, that is uh, that is justification for for a project like this uh, it, it is easy though to ask to, to, to wonder where where else that 200 and uh, where there is that 400 million dollars could go to to reduce to improve the quality of the healthcare in Uganda that is a very a very valid question because if you're committed to addressing something like that where you're providing specialist specialist care then you want to commit to the right process to, to provide the right product and then attract uh, even even uh, attract medical tourism from elsewhere but i i also don't know whether the, the we, heart institute actually attracts medical tourism and and, and now we have we have kidney mm. transplant happening in in uh, although we've been told it, it it happens and does it happen the cost is also not very clear Pardon? If, the if, science mm. we are investing properly. Yeah. And, and, and how, how have we done, I think, what, what uh, Honorable Bokatish called the feasibility to understand our healthcare system and see where Lovoa plugs in into the healthcare system, into a grander plan. And I think I was just talking about a grander plan. There doesn't seem to be a grander plan for Uganda. It is day after day. Are, are we, I need to give you a little bit of information. Yes. Actually, there was a disagreement between the Minister of Health and the PINET at the begin at PIN, uh, with the PINET project at the beginning. Mm. For them, they had very e different. Eventually, ideas. when they knew about it, because yes. they, when, when they had different <laughs> ideas. When they were made aware. Of yes. yes, and uh, you need to give credit to both uh, Dr. Rusa Cheng and even Princess uh, uh, Oko calls her Princess Diana. Uh, yes, Princess Diana. 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 Mm. They, they had really different ideas. However, somehow the PINET thing came in. Mm. But Minister of Health had a different idea. Yes, uh, and th thank you, thank you for that uh, for that uh, information. I, I, I think that when 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 we are assessing how the, the Lower Hospital fits within the grander plan, um, you 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 look at what is there, what the plans are to address the different gaps that are there in 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 the in the health sector, where the priorities lie. Because again, there's a lot of this, 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 these hospitals um, suddenly going to be quite expensive. When you look at the cost of a heart transplant, uh, so a, a, a heart, a heart uh, uh, or surgery or um, kidney transplant, those costs are still prohibitive. Yes, mm. we have them here, but they are prohibitive for the ordinary 
Ugandan for the, compared and compared to some some neighboring countries as as close as as Rwanda where the the, the cost is, is is fairly lower and why why does that happen because you have a much grander plan around the around addressing the healthcare system and not necessarily just plugging one hole that mm -hmm. then be, becomes an abyss and, mm -hmm. and and just swallows lots of money no 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 don't have it expensive. No, no, no. But we must have a starting point. It's like saying, we that start, we start, start. We, we, we start a primary school and a mango tree. No. Mm. Then we build one classroom. My understanding of Some what Malcolm is saying is that please tree. don't have it expensive. It will no, not no, be no. affordable. No, no, Actually, no. I said more. He said, have a plan. What's your plan? Obviously. What's your grand plan? That's what he's saying. Uh, unfortunately, Apudu didn't say the plan. Aching and Diana. Had mm. for which they disagreed, and that's why mm. Uska, I said at the beginning that when we are discussing these technical the policy issues, it would have been better to bring Diana or a chain so that our no, no, Ofo, no, you need to look at their correspondences at the beginning. Their proposal was just equip Morago and regional referral hospitals if you must let. Let them be the ones through their contractors, be the one to construct that facility. Those are the proposals that it will be cheaper, but it also fit in, in what Malcolm has said in their grand plan. Mm. Of, uh, as, 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 okay. I, the plan for it as a ministry. You need to talk to the director of medical services. And they had the plan for it. However, somehow something came through the ventilator and it landed in the, <laughs> There's a, 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 a paper, a paper written by Jude Biamukama. <laughs> a paper written by Jude Biamukama, and I'll, I'll, I'll share it with you as well. He says, <laughs> when, 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 they, they, when they were eventually made aware of, of, of the project, they were also against it. You remember, Naduri, are you aware? <laughs> are you aware, Naduri? <laughs> Ivan, you're on microphone. Uh, thank you. I think on this issue... This, this is a good point for Ofano Pondo to thank Ivan uh, for warming that seat regularly. He has statistics, Biarohanga style, uh -huh. and he has uh, uh, the is voice uh, of Ofano Pondo. Hmm? Is he punchy? He's, he's uh, still I, polite. I, Ivan, I want you to be punchy. Yeah, okay. okay. <laughs> 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 I want him to be he's not yet punchy. Uh, uh, and, uh, with statistics uh, uh, soft, and people... Like same would you take advantage of mm. That's correct. Oh, oh. I, I, <laughs> Ivan is the next Moses one with statistics. Moses is good. <laughs> but and and on some days when he should be punchy, he he's, he's tamas, he does what? Like today you really I said now oh, oh he's back. Yeah. How you took us to bananas and, and <laughs> But, uh, but uh, Oscar <laughs> mm. I, I think on this subject we should have had what the gang sit on on one side yeah. because uh, i think there's unanimous there's, uh, there's apart there's from abdication here yeah, and there yeah, yeah. <laughs> there is consensus <laughs> abdication and abscondment here yes, and there there's consensus mm. but uh, for me my problem i have a problem with the, this uh, penetrating thing from the very beginning the identity of the whole thing because you see peneti is uh, has a company when they say peneti she has a company called finas which she uses to bid for these uh, projects. Mm -hmm. the, no, no, there is no bidding. Not no, no. Mm, okay, 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 yes, okay, okay. Yes, okay. No <laughs> okay. She, I have been I, okay. So this thing, she, I have been advised that she does not bid. So you could say which uses for appointment. <laughs> for for listing. Yes, yes, this company, I do not know who did. Uh, if anybody ever did any due diligence, this company yes, has no has no history in any construction aspect, co 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 undertaken, executed, and completed. But this company comes to Uganda, it is given hospitals, it is given roads, it is given marketing in the co coffee and the tea. And so, so it's a multipurpose vehicle with yeah. no history of any multipurpose co uh, execution, no any multipurpose I, I, I achievement. Secondly, the, the, the arrangement of the, uh, the agreement. So if, if this company does not have history of, of execution in construction or anything, then why is it undertaking this? Why, does, why oh, didn't the government coffee, of Uganda... Yes, why didn't the government of Uganda borrow this money directly 
and then pay interest because it is behaving this company is behaving like the IMF or World Bank or something because the only thing it is providing is that it can borrow money mm -hmm. We the uh, exactly, that's what I'm saying. Because government is, is the one paying promissory notes and paying back that money. Yet, you would say, okay, with the reason we are going with the company is because it has a history of execution, uh, construction, it has excellent execution, re co construction and execution record. It doesn't have either. So, what does it offer? Because if it is borrowing, I think that the government has a better identity as a brand or as a, as a, to be contracted or to borrow money. And, uh, and then That's construct, why uh, government is the one uh, uh, issuing the promissory notes because uh, they're borrowing. Uh -huh, exactly. Herself, we can't borrow. Exactly. So what are we paying? Why are we contracting her? What what does she bring on table? That that answer that That's question. The that, speciality. Yes, there is no speciality she's bringing on table. So why are we contracting? Why doesn't the government borrow this I money and, and, and contract to Roko and any other Maybe construction she's company? she's a medical consultant. To, <laughs> to offer the, this. That is the oh, first oh. point. Is she a medical consultant? And that, for the that, tea or that, coffee? That's <laughs> that is the first point. So, so but Abdul, for the tea, coffee, and rods? Nothing. She's a good drink of coffee. Uh, uh -huh. mm. So, so, so for the first point is that that uh, Peniti brings no speciality. In fact, she brings nothing to this to this exercise because government could still borrow this money and contract the companies to build this hospital since her company has no record in construction. That is the first point. The second point is the, the the exaggeration exaggeration exaggerated figures she quotes in all her in her all her projects the, uh, by the way what is not said here is that the initial contract for this project included a, a three star hotel included a hospital and a three star hotel wow that is what she was constructed at the cost of 200 this is documented Yes, 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 yes. Mm. This is and the parliamentarians can verify that I'm sure even upon it was a hospital and a three star hotel at the cost of 250 million dollars but this is the interesting bit. She went, proceeded after getting that contract from government. She went and she proceeded and and contracted first of all Rocco at seventy million dollars. They fell out. She went and contracted Power China International at fifty-seven million dollars. The difference, Oscar, between her quoted, her contracted uh, the the amount she quoted, the two hundred and fifty million, for which she was constructed with government uh, by government. And the company, the construction companies, is a whooping one hundred and ninety-three million dollars in, oh. in 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 profit. Mm. So she con she gets government to contract her at two hundred and fifty million dollars, and proceeds to contract the company at fifty-seven million dollars. So Rocco got, uh, had, been, had been uh, got, uh, contracted at sixty at uh, seventy. Mm. Power China at fifty-seven million dollars. The difference between the power China amount and the one that she got government to give her is a whopping one hundred and ninety-three million dollars. That money alone, in profit, can construct another whole 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 facility, and that is just on on Lubawa and the and the hotel. For once, Semuji is going to be grateful for your statistics. She 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 went ahead and was given seven roads by government. This is some of this by, by yeah. okay, okay by the yeah. I think by, by the government by, by his the, the, the president is the head of government. Ah, no, no, no. So the, so the, yes, the, the president is the head of government. So the pre his so his she got is she got government she, is the head of government. So, mm. so 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 the president acts. I acts, only have your microphone. Yes, the president mm. acts in the name of government. So the government contracted uh, uh, gave gave her seven roads to construct. Regardless of the fact that she has no history in road construction, but this is the other interesting bit. This, some of the, these roads, UNRWA had already done uh, feasibility studies, assessment and, va and, and value assessment. So the, and the difference between her quoted cost of constructing these roads and what UNRWA had done was a whooping 117 billion. The difference. The difference in what UNRWA had identified and quoted and what she quoted. So, so not only does she have no record of or, 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 no speciality, not only does she bring no speciality to any of the deals she has gotten, she all, also quotes ex, ex, exaggerated uh, uh, figures and contracts government to, to, to pay her this. And in, in fact, including interest, because the interest we are paying on, on, on Boa is $129 million interest alone. Kajin, that is what complain. brings. Yes. Are you resisted? Yes, yes, yes. 129 million in interest that is what that is what increases the figure from the 250 uh, 250 million to the 370 379 million 
so it's 120 the government is incurring 129 million in interest never mind that there is no work that is being done and never mind the fact that the companies she contracted for some work done <laughs> maybe a slower sense or substandard but there's some work okay but if we cannot see that work if we if the prime minister the minister of health the lead of opposition parliament and the the lead of government business cannot be allowed to go and see the work why why should where should we derive the confidence that there is work being done Mm. You, you see, so, so, so as this, we stop this, for a break, this, final sentence. This is an unmitigated uh, scandal yeah. that the, huh? every Ugandan should be raging. Just about. before the break, government spokesman. Yes, I think. Uh, all, yeah, no, no, no. All, all, now he's government spokesman. All is not lost. Let us just remember that we have had many projects of this nature before, where we have had controversies, but with putting sufficient pressure at the right places, the executive, and particularly the president, has come back and agreed with the complainants. You remember the, the, the sugar thing in, in the culture, the land, rather in, 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 in Ugazi, he came back. Swam Road, even this Entebbe Expressway. We now have issues with the ginger, Kampala ginger. So, mm. I still insist that yeah. Our parliament should put the right pressure. pressure I have three the, three minutes the, to the break, the, yes, but the, give the, us reassurance now, on this hospital. Uh, my brother Moses Biarohanga has just sent me here a message, and is saying that the they had a meeting this week with the president. Is Biarohanga also in suspension? No. I think he caused the suspension. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Uh, Biarohanga has sent me a message, and yeah, they, I they had a meeting this week, and says. In a meeting this week on progress of Lubawa Hospital, the government was briefed and assured that infrastructure works will be completed by the end of this year. What? Hey, go, to the, go to the work. microphone. Oh, oh. Mm. Infrastructure work will be completed by the end of this year, and equipping will thereafter start. Opening will be by November 2025. This is what Moses has sent to me. And this is uh, a radio of record. Mm. We shall be holding Moses and the government. And I have no. And, no, and oh, oh. I, I have no See, doubt in my mind. Then how can we hold someone who's mouth? Let's let let let, let, let hold on. Let, oh, first finish. Let him first say he has no doubt in his mind that Moses is quoting the truth that there was a meeting, and this is with the president between Pinetti, the group there and the president. I thought you were going to say you have no doubt in your mind that it will be completed no, next no, no, year. That, that Moses is reporting a so fact that the meeting took place, took place. And the government, in this particular matter led by the president, was briefed that this infrastructure work will be done by November this year and that the hospital will be commissioned by November 2025. This is what Moses Biaruhanga okay. has Oscar. said. Oscar. Hey, Oscar. I, I <laughs> Let me stop for a breakfast. Yeah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Let me stop for a breakfast. <laughs> on 91.3 Capital FM. The Capital Gang on 91.3 Capital FM. We'll come back from the break. Great discussions in the break. Star Cafe has uh, powered the gang. Uh, today we even have Mandazi. So welcome back, Ofono Pono. Only shepherd from from Bugwere is not here. <laughs> <laughs> no, we have Mandazi today. So as I thought, we were concluding on on the topic. Oh, oh and Moses Biarohanga call it wide open uh, back again. Abdu, you are protesting. Yes. You do not believe in your mind that Oo believes in his mind that the meeting took place and the hospital will open next year. I believe in my mind. To use, to use your words. <laughs> <laughs> that, that whatever my brother Moses Yarhanga is saying is some street gospel. <laughs> and let me tell you why I call it street gospel. You see, this is a contract written with the terms and the conditions. Each party has obligations under that contract. That contract has went through a process of approvals to, from, the auditor, from the auditor general to the attorney general. Money has already been extended. So is this now a renegotiated position? Is this now a new contract? Because you see, 
if you've voted on a written agreement, by the way, on three times, I think three occasions, you've even voted with subcontractors on four occasions. How come now we must have faith in what my brother Moses is talking about? So really, to me, we are in a crisis. This is a desperate attempt to sanitize something which is uh, unsanitizable. We, we need just to move away from Pinetti, cut our losses, because first of all, how much money have we already spent? The guys we issued, the promissory notes, have called on to them and we've already paid money. O Oscar, mm. that may as well be true, but uh, as I said, this is not the only project. We have just had recently the question of extension of the airport, the runway, the building. We had a contract there. Through government system, UPDF Engineering Brigade was brought in and we had been told that the airport is specialized. UPDF has delivered that airport building to... No, no. no. You, you, you may say they are not yet completed, but they have delivered to the second project. So you mean now UPDF is going to take no, no, over? Well, not saying, what, that's what you are saying? I can read into that. I can read into that. But I mean, we, no, it was saying. costed and yeah, that money had costed. already been it paid. Was, I agree with it was costed. Yes. We, we have another project. And we've already no, paid out that project, money. Which UPDF has delivered. Number mm -hmm. Stadium. We also had a contract there. We were told, no, no, we, 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 were, we were told, yes, there may be scandals and so on. We were told an international stadium is also specialized. UPDF has delivered number Mandela National Stadium. So I would have no doubt that either UPDF or any other contract, because if Pinetti has caused government and the, pro the president headache, For yes, contractor. the president can go back to them and say, you guys, you Pinetti and your group, you are causing me headache. <laughs> I want you to make good. And I think Pinetti can make concessions and say these aspects of, of the work, you can give it to another person. I think it's better to give it time. Yes, we have been disappointed, I know, but I think it can be redeemed as, and is going to be redeemed. What we need mm. to do put sufficient pressure. You know, you take you take public been. money, then you yes, get another that, that, public no. institution, the UPDF, that, you are, you are to do your job. Cut our that's part of cutting your losses. Uh, yeah, 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 what what uh, Ofono Pono and Vyaroanga are saying now is that don't mind, something will be there. Mm. What was envisaged was a super facility, specialized. Number is not. You go to Rwanda and see the Yaragibe Arena. You will cry. You, can, yeah. you, 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 you will cry if you look at just the rugby arena in Rwanda and no, compare to Nambol. Oscar, point of information. That arena in Rwanda is almost five times the value in value compared to Nambol. So you can only construct the Nambole. quality that you have paid for. You Nambole. cannot pay one hundred and how many million dollars Nambole. are paid for Nambol. Nambol is not being constructed. We are going to spend uh, 200 billion shilling mm -hmm. in renovating. Yes. You're not counting the cost. No, no, no. <coughs> for me, for me, Oscar. <coughs> That's co contrast. No. For, for I wanted to finish, but oh, oh for, for, you are the one who <laughs> for, opened for the can me, of Oscar, worms. For me, Oscar, I think, mm -hmm. I agree with Ofono. That you can count. Uh, how many months did Bialuanga say? November next year. Yeah, they are going to, they will pack there some containers, put uh, some makeshift structures, and then bring Panado and Aspirin and say the super specialized hospital now is working. And then the president will go to launch. Like he has always done. Even the Katosi with its candle, he launched it. But the, 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 I have said with its scandal, so don't you know that money was eaten? Yeah, but you remember, you, you, you remember the contractor, the contractor who was supposed to be an American took the first 24 billion and then was contract, subcontracting at 150. Okay. Um, let me it let me have a, Ivan, not working at full capacity. have final word on this one, and then we go to the next topic. Mm. Not at full capacity. Look, I uh, look for me. I do not uh, to agree with OO. I do not want to agree that Parliament is entirely powerless on this. The other day, when the idea of floating the coffee deal again towards Benetti, 
in the midst of this scandal, in the midst of this uh, coffee of this uh, robot scandal, Parliament put its foot down. I remember the president summoned the NRM parliamentary caucus at Kololo, and he was almost lamenting, telling people uh, that's when he said, "People are saying Peneti, Peneti is nobody. It is me. It is uh, in fact he said something to, to that. Uh, then he said, "I'm the one who brought Peneti. She was not interested in uh, this. I'm the one who, bro who brought her." Uh, but that was an acknowledgement that parliament had put its foot down and said no in 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 light of the uh, the current uh, events and the uh, controversy surrounding her we cannot give another contract to Peneti. she has no rec uh, record or speciality in coffee marketing and value addition and anything like this so i think that the par parliament is not pushing hard enough against the uh, against the, 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 this the, the, mm. here mm. you are midway so if you stop it, they will say we are supposed to be paying a compensation. Yes. yes. But also, I think but, that but, 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 but Moses tells you as well that you are wrong. The, uh, Ivan is not correct. The project involves construction and equipping the hospital. So please, Ivan, stop saying that the rest was profit to Pinetti. The the the, the, the the other balance yeah, of but money you is. see the construction involves the hospital and the the beds and the and and and, and the hotel and the hotel. So, so I don't know when you mean equipment because it is in the contract. There is a, the number of beds I have Four, missed. Uh, uh, two hundred, uh, two hundred uh, something. Beds. So you construct the hotel and fit it with the beds. Uh, with, 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 Some with. show in the near future. Mm. And yeah. Moses comes yeah. to the show real life. With is a, a, we have a what? No, no. <laughs> He's not uh, with a uh, uh, with the minister. No, we need the Moses. Moses is looking forward when in Africa. Philip, Philip, Philip in Kampala is saying that we hope we'll conclude with a, a call for the minister to resign, minister of health. Okay, uh, now let's go to another official position, Honorable um, Semuju. So what's happening? He wanted to extend the revolver so that we don't discuss the official position. <laughs> official position? Um, the the yes. Yeah, so <laughs> why are you smiling? Oh. I think he has enjoyed. Side side and go this side and the and the So Parliament exhibition has told us a lot of things, mm -hmm. and those a lot of things have caused chaos in the uh, NUP. Uh, so, Honorable Semuju, mm. what 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 have we learned uh, <coughs> this week? Give All these happenings in Parliament. Give him four microphones on this one. I'm <laughs> <laughs> <Am> in <I> Parliament. <laughs> You're a big person in Parliament in the uh, opposition. Oscar, yes. <coughs> I saw oh, oh. Mm. Uh, on all the platforms, WhatsApp platforms where I am, he was sending those documents and forgetting that actually he has sent them. Then he resends them. <laughs> <laughs> he has enjoyed himself. I, I don't know why o, o, Till this morning. I don't know why O has always had a problem with the parliament. One uh, set of NRM leaders in parliament, he has problems with them. Another set, he has problems with them. I don't know. But let me go to the issues, Oscar. Mm. <clears throat> Especially the speaker. Yeah, I think the, the, this should be a running lesson for the administration of parliament. I have always told colleagues in parliament that uh, the way we roll people in the mud when they have committed crimes or suspected, we should also expect the public to put us under the spotlight. And I think the administration of parliament will need to sit down and learn from this and then seek to improve. The trouble with parliament all over, whether it is UK, whether it is Kenya, remember the story of pigs in Nairobi, the public will be the one to choose the parliament, but they don't like the parliament. I don't know. Almost <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I, I, I said... Uh, it's because of money. I said on another show, mm. under the last administration, the parliament proposed that instead of uh, spending so much money on, on, on stationery, let's buy iPads. Oh... They didn't look at the cost that was going to be saved. Even this one. They just looked at uh, MPs uh, uh, adding themselves yet something else. So the, I think the public will prefer that parliament is not paid at all. I think they are, I mean the public will be happy. <coughs> but, yes. 
I think the public had issue with the fact that the iPads were bought and the printing continued in the house. No, no, it didn't. No. It didn't. We, are, we, we no longer receive reports. Yes. You are, about the prison. Is we, we don't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, so give him back information. <laughs> <laughs> we no longer receive reports. The Every body goes on his iPad. If you don't know how to use it, then you will not follow. Yeah, yeah, so that has happened. <laughs> but that doesn't take away. That doesn't take away yeah, no. the. That doesn't take away Oscar the legitimate issues that are mm. raised. I think the point that uh, the public makes let me speak about my brother the honorable mpoga i and mpoga met in senior two so we've been together since that time mm. the trouble is that even when you are doing the something right and you do it badly that's the point Morocco made earlier you're going to look like uh, you're doing something wrong i don't see legitimately any problem with the parliament giving the leader of opposition when he's retiring a retirement package because the other day they were giving secondly who had to remove three vehicles because of the because of the offices the speakers and you may have issues but it is in the law so you can't blame secondly because the law has made but this time i think uh, what you are doing was right the leader of opposition can be given a retirement package but do it properly if you need to add to amend the administration of parliament act amend it there has always been a trouble, and I think in the CA it was an issue, that you are the ones who are registering, but you want to be the beneficiary of this constitution as soon as it is made. So there was a proposal, I don't remember, either by Kanyehamba or someone else, mm -hmm. that everybody participating in uh, making the constitution should not contest the next immediate election. When you are the sitting commission and uh, you propose packages and you pass them, mm -hmm. you will have a problem. In fact, for me, in my view, you need the sitting parliament to be the one proposing packages for the next mm -hmm. parliament, and the next parliament must not revise them. Because the conflict of interest is always going to be there. We are all human. Oscar, let me tell you, when you are starting observer, we are closing in one week because of the human indiscipline. Until when you went for a meeting and said, no, there must be procedures. <coughs> so if you asked me to go and determine my allowances, <laughs> I am human. You will put them I, five thousand. Yes, because I want more. <laughs> so I think the, 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 the process in parliament will need to change. You mm. get the sitting parliament to propose the payment and allowances for the next parliament. Mm. But also let them be in the law because now my brother Mpuga is being made to look like a thug. Yet I believe he is not. <laughs> the, but the, he's being made to look like Honorable a thug. Samuju, the, the, yes, I oh. believe he is not. Honorable Semuju, yes. Uh, Ofono Pondo has been waiting for you uh, uh, to speak about the speaker's allowances as well. Mm. He has been gearing up for that and he was uh, daring that you shall not speak about them. Because it is not <coughs> just uh, right on the bomb program. Mm. But let me also use this, uh, let me also use this uh, to explain something that has been variously said. See, for any MP, when you are dealing with a speaker, there will be, there will be limits. <laughs> Except if you are mad, there will be limits of no upon. If I want to speak, I must ask for permission from the speaker. <laughs> it is extendable. If the speaker says don't speak, you will not. But also, the way the speaker is protected by our rules, even to speak, you must begin by thanking. <laughs> if you don't know for no pono. By rule. So you stand up, I want to thank you, Madam Speaker. Even for... N nothing has been done at that stage, but you are thankful. <laughs> Your opportunity to speak. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And it's the world all over. All so I think many, many NRM people, ways. many NRM people, including Ivan here, they, they have their own internal problems with the administration of parliament. And part of the problem they have is that some of us are using parliament as a platform. They will therefore want a conflict between you and the administration of parliament such that you don't use it at all. So even when they have a legitimate issue, they are inviting you and recruiting you in a fight, a, a fight where you can go and actually plan. You've seen what has happened to my other colleagues. So yes. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am not stupid of Fono Pondo that you are going to invite me to begin fighting with a speaker and then you tweet me the way Zake has been tweeted. I am not stupid. That war don't recruit me. But also two things, in, in, Oscar, in, for you to know. Fact, uh, Samuji, in fact, when yes. we were sending off uh, Senyonyi here, yes. uh, we advised him to stop the and earlier say, and we I told did, him I now you are mm. so The moment you want to be 
part of parliament, you want to be a leader of opposition, you want mm. to chair a committee, mm. you must recognize that that parliament has administrators. If you want to go, it is, we have had that problem with FDC activism versus parliamentary work. Mm. The FDC headquarters will want you to go and jump over a table all the time. If you choose to do that, you are suspended. I have been suspended in, from this parliament three times. Yeah. So if I wanted to continue being suspended, please, I will do what Ufonopon is advising me to do. <laughs> but if I want to use parliament as a platform to say the things that I say, I must be tactical. I am not an idiot. <laughs> but, <laughs> but also I want you, Oscar, to note two things. Yes. All the things that have happened in parliament have happened against a background. The Honorable Mpuga, uh, has had his own issues with his party, is removed as leader of opposition, is, he has had a quarrel with him. So the, the people who are making a go at him are not doing so just necessarily because of what has happened in parliament. They have had scores to, 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 to settle. Mm. The same applies to the phone opponents and the speakers of parliament. Mm. They have their own problems within NRM. So when something happens like it did, oh, phone opponent is going to celebrate and invite everybody to participate when he's reaching parliament and the speaker. Please, I am still a member of parliament for two and a half years. I must use parliament as a platform. When you are fighting with the speaker for your own NRM quarrels, please don't invite me. I will fight my quarrels. Katesh. <coughs> all, all, all the three MPs. Well, have, Ivan, have you noticed the three MPs we have no. in the street? They are all annoyed. You should see the, the facial expression on Abdul's face talking about parliament. They are very annoyed. No, I want to, Oscar. <laughs> Oscar, I want to thank Semuju because you see this whole thing about parliament. And Ivan, you need so you're to not going, you're also not going to talk about the speaker's no, allowances. We, where the, they are we right, should ask where ourselves. This campaign that started, that has intensified, who is the sponsor, who is behind it, what is the objective? And I think we should not take things for granted. But Katesh, you are being this, unfair. When this, you are in URA, this, you yourself promoted a whistleblower uh, notion. So it did not matter who <laughs> has presented, who has because an agenda, see, who has whatever. Uh, Oscar, you actually encouraged Oscar, that same attitude. I have been in parliament. When you see, when you he see paid the blowers, yes. Oh, uh, oh, 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 is itching to talk because he's, <laughs> oh, oh, is itching to talk because there is a, there is a, there is a, there is a, there is excitement. Hey. And Oscar, I need to be protected from Ivan here. <laughs> Because the, I will remind Katesh, let me remind listeners that Ivan and OO are in the NRM party. Yes, you uh, see, I think they, they are have forgotten. They, 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 they are people who, mm. Oscar, they are people who have not accepted the current administration of parliament. Mm. And they will do everything to tarnish, to bring down the administration of parliament. And like Semja has said, we are not going to be dragged into that. That's it. Those same people, by extension or by proxy, have gone after Mpuga. Mpuga has been one of the most articulate, very successful lop. At least I have watched him at the cross range. But because of that success, because of his performance, I think the powers that be in the party felt very threatened. And they expected Mpuga to be fighting with the speaker on a daily basis. I mean, someone who went to school who is reasonable, <laughs> you have to choose between jumping on tables and using your head. And 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 and, and I wish. <laughs> pa pardon. And, I have said you can jump on table. Yes. But not every day. Not every day. And I wish. Yes. And I wish. Uh, I, 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 I wish. I wish. I wish. Oh, oh, was in Parliament because you I see, Parliament. Suspended. Parliament has got rules. You cannot expect, because the accusations they have been laboring about to Puga was, you know, you are not aggressive, you need to jump on tables. The fine gentleman in him will not do that. And that is the approach. He had an agenda, he performed well, but people did not like him. They started fighting him. Now, I think even the current administration, in the leader of opposition, is threatened. You know, someone might leave uh, a position, but you feel 
you, you feel the, the, the crowd is still hovering around you. If this crowd is not removed, you will not be noticed. I think that is what we are experiencing. Now you look at you look at all this information that has come out. Personally, I rarely pay attention to negative things in social media. Some of it is not verified. But you see the excitement of people who are jumping on it and expounding on it. You can see that there is clear motivation behind uh, mm. uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, this campaign. And, and I think we have to be very careful. We have parliament. It is a punching bag in this country. Every, I, one time I asked, is parliament the largest cost center yes. in this country? Yes. Huh? Well, yes. You look at the budget. Mm. Look at the budget. You, 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 but you anything the, small, mm. you will hear. Pa ba parliament is very big. Even the people in NRM who have been who have been part of uh, uh, of us, mm. like they, they, they are they, the ones to claim parliament is big. May, but may, we, may we all submit Palisa ourselves for like your comments on the hospital. We we all submit ourselves but, for but elections. Not these ones, you mm. know. So for me, there are issues who are there are people who are losers. They are using every opportunity to <laughs> tarnish parliament. My only problem is that our administration, we have a clerk, they need to come out and actually mm. formally issue a statement because some of the information is false, it's being manipulated, but it's going out there and all these people who want, who want they, they studied PhD, put him down, they want to use this information to bring down and undermine parliament. Okay. And you must also understand the period we are in now, you know, mm. the elections, the, the talk is, thank you, thank is, you. is, is, gotcha. is starting. And so, people need to come down. Okay. Honorable so, Katuntu, the, 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 you are away uh, uh, on one show where we asked, I asked a very tough question. Someone on Twitter said that was the toughest question on gang for a while. Uh, now this one, Semujo has joined in a tough question, and <laughs> the only answer he has said you, you can only jump on the table once. So, but no one is referring. Hmm? Uh, pardon? You can't be jumping on the table every day. Then you will never speak in the Parliament. So, uh, Parliament, um, Uganda Parliament exhibition. Katesh has gone round and round and round and round until he said that the clerk should come out and speak. Oh, is just itching to begin, and and for once you'll be assisted with statistics man Ivan. Well, Oo suffers from what I call speaker mania. You know his uh, hatred for Rebecca Kadaga. Now he has had another one. So I wouldn't be surprised. But having said so, mm. Parliament is a public institution. And whatever we do will we'll have a spotlight on us. That we should always be aware. And I have no problem at all with anybody flashing that spotlight on what we do. Because it's always good manners and the responsibility to have accountability for all our actions as an institution or as individual members. There is no problem with it. My only other problem is, one, when in the process of having spotlight on us, then we, we, we indulge in blackmail, in hatred, and sometimes, you know, <laughs> in, in unnecessary and uh, including now forgeries. That, that's where the big problem is. So whatever has come out, that is okay with me, absolutely. So we need now to examine it. Is this, did it happen? If it happened, is it the right thing that happened? And that's what civilized societies do. From my own point of view, I have a little bit of advantage. One, when the, this current administration took over the leadership of parliament, the, like any other change, they had changes they had to make within the institution. That affected, for example, staff. Uh, and it started actually with the short time even Jacob was still alive and was there. There was a little bit of transfers and so on. And it affected staff who never recovered from it. So they have been having all this grudge and so on. And, and they, they, they found time to hit back. And that one they are doing. 
So that we should expect. But when that happens, why doesn't the public examine it and say, is this true or not? I'll give you an example. <laughs> many, many, many members of staff, I think we are transferred from offices which they are comfortable and put in other offices <laughs> where they are not comfortable. So all those are just trying to hit back. And the public should understand that. To go back to this thing of Honorable Mpuga, let me tell you one thing. The office of the leader of opposition is a government office. And it is constitutional. Can we get that clear? It is a government office and it is constitutional. The office of leader of opposition has an equivalent in the parliament. And the equivalent is the leader of government business. It is government and it is also constitution. Does the office of leader of, op of, leader of government business have a retirement package? The holder, whether he has been in that office for two months, one month. If you retire as a prime minister, what do you take after? We provided a car. That's why even the family of the late in Sibambi has a car. So all of them, we are provided a house and so on. And that is the equivalent of the leader of opposition in parliament and in government. Does so the, did Honorable Nandala get these things? Which one? Oh, no, no, he didn't. And that's where the problem is. Oh. That's where the problem is. Mm. That that office should have been provided with a retirement benefit. Like indeed we've provided one with the gov of government side. You get it? The only thing do you provide it in in perpetuity like that one of prime minister because the one of prime minister it is in perpetuity until he dies here i think because i talked to many of the to the leadership so how how did this arise and it was like can we have a one-off for that office well, why is my brother stammering oh <laughs> my brother i only have one brother on this show uh, me I, I never stammer no i just want you to counter my argument with logic and law and don't involve me in gossip because i have no time to gossip or oh, oh. you and that you know so the issue is really not about providing that award service because it was about like we have gratuity by the way, we do have gratuity mm. as members of parliament. So this was a one-off, but for the office of leader of what? Of mm. opposition. Maybe that calls that to amend the constitution, that the leader of opposition should actually be the one who is the leader of opposition in the country. Because if it was uh, Bobby Wine, the Honorable Chagulani in that office, what would be the debate be? If it was Dr. Kiza Vesige in that office, what would the debate be? Or it is because there is now a contradiction, especially within the NUP, and these, it has its own history. Then, too, about the current speaker. Let me tell you, the current speaker is facing two challenges. One, there are people from the opposition who think <coughs> she's, especially outside parliament, who think she has uh, done very well to fizzle parliament in, in, in or the opposition in the parliament so that it doesn't go to what Samuji is saying of jumping on the table every day, every day, every day, and so on. There's a little bit of uh, harmony within that house where when people come together these days, it is not about fighting all the time. And you have to go to give credit to Anita Mongo. She has succeeded to do that. And don't think it will please the opposition especially outside parliament. However, there is also another, what we call the intra-contradiction. People like OO, who think that Anita is a, is a stranger in NRM. in NRM. To them, it is their thing. So they also having a problem. And all of them are having all their data and so on throwing over. So they divert the public from a legitimate spotlight, which should be on parliament. And now they are involving us in their gossip, in their hatred. And that is not correct. We are going to Odell. We are going to stop for actually, a break. Oscar, before you stop, because someone I, met, is ready. Mm. I met a senior, a senior person in NRM who said, you know, these two people are newcomers. The speaker and the deputy speaker. They just came in recently and they, they are now enjoying, uh, you know, power. To the extent that some of them, even 
felt that they should not even but be invited. But how come no one is saying that against you? Who? You. Mm. Me have been what around. Does, yeah. Which do I have? I what have power does he have? Is that not being an MP? <laughs> Mm. Kates is the capital gang on 91.3 Capital FM. Capital gang on 91.3 Capital FM. Welcome back from the break. There was a bit of delay because the arguments are still moving. So um, let's start with you, Ofono Pondo, and uh, then we'll have Ivan and then Malcolm. The opposition, the MPs are jumping on tables. <laughs> 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 so, uh, uh, Abdul has told us, they, they, there's a listener complaining about background. Abdul has told us that these things require scrutiny and that people are not giving scrutiny to the issues. So, there are some issues on travel. That's a, a big chunk of money. Those, that came in the wrong question. And then there's another one of leader of opposition. Was it 500 million? So, can you give us that scrutiny that Abdul wants? It's very interesting that when we flash a torch on parliament, they say we are being hired Go to the microphone. by mm. hatred. When we started this show, I made an analysis on the issue of penalty vis-a-vis, quote and unquote, the protection, the promotion she gets from the president. I don't know what the Honorable Buddha and Samuel will say, I am also being motivated to hate the president. But let me let, let that rest. No on <laughs> <laughs> Only your microphone is on. Yeah. I just mm. want to highlight three things in the parliament. First of all, I want to disabuse Honorable Abu, who says I have speaker mania. Our dis- my disagreement with Honorable Kadaga, right Honorable Kadaga was on specific issues where we had, she had made an undertaking in the SEC that after 10 years as a speaker, she would see the way. That was the last one. Yes, and then... Previously, yes, you had and issues. and then she went on Howard, and we, we, we disagreed there, and everybody knows the outcome. We, 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 we did a democratic fight. We did a, we did a, we did a, we did a democratic struggle and we we, 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 we ousted no, we, we her. Now, on the record, on the record, in the 2020, 2021, I was on the side of Jacob Bolanya and Triple A, who was running for speaker and the Peter Speaker, respectively. When the, when when Olanya passed on, we agreed as the NRM. You remember the about about is had come up. And we agreed in the same. We said no, we must go by the president. A A Triple A knows. Contrary to what Abu says, I am actually her supporter as Speaker of Parliament. However, that does not mean that I agree with the entire management style, particularly when things come to the fore. You have just cited here the parliamentary. You call it parliament exhibition. I have not bothered myself to know who are behind it, but from social media, I gathered that Dr. Spire Sentongo, the satirist, and Agatha Atuhere, who has been a parliamentary reporter, and she follows. <clears throat> what have they put there on the exhibition? Particularly about this, because I have not seen what they have said about other people. They have made a claim for example, I just want to highlight too that on 29th November, the speaker, 29th November 2023, the speaker received 494 million, supposedly for a trip to Nairobi for her biannual holiday of 30 days. But simultaneously, on the same 29th November 2023, <coughs> the speaker received. 104 million for seven days in the Kigali for the para, for the parliamentary games. Now, I have not made a verification myself. Honorable would say you have not yet done the scrutiny the yourself. Honorable would say there could be uh, fraud, fraud, people manipulating the information. Information, but these are things. We that should are, see how stern his yeah, face looks. These are things that on the surface. 
appear genuine records from the parliamentary uh, accounts offices. Because they have been typed? No, no, no. I am saying on the surface. Now, it is incumbent, and, it is incumbent... And Parliament upon, has not yet come yes, out. It is incumbent to, upon, yeah. in my view, mm. the office of the Speaker mm. to say, Clarify. we have seen this on social media, or even mainstream media, it is not true. The Speaker has not travelled. First of all, she has not travelled out of the country to go to Nairobi for a 30 day holiday. And therefore, the purported expenditure or receiving the money is false and fraudulent. That's what I would expect. Now, if Parliament and her office is quiet, what do you expect an ordinary member of the public who has read this to take? Two, you remember when the Semojus had issues with the Nandarama Fabis. At that time, also, something similar was said about Honorable Semuju. There were things put on social media and said Semuju signed for money for Nairobi and simultaneously he was in South Sudan. It was false. In, in our case, Semuju, because... No, no. Or oh, oh, you remember? No, in our case, on our platform... <laughs> you are the one no, who was listen, doing it. The 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 no, no. no. Now, now, now my brother Abdul is heckling. Mm. Okay. I, I, I have switched I, off his microphone. I know how favored you are, or you have been, <laughs> with the previous Speaker of Parliament and the current one. <laughs> when, when we were doing the Speaker's conference, you were literally the bag holder. <laughs> You, you, you are no Cooper. You I was, are, I, I was Cooper. the chairperson so of that So I can understand your conflict of interest in ensuring <laughs> that you defend whatever the speaker does, whatever whatever it may be. So I'm saying... These days there's a saying in Luganda, uh, Tokuba nyo. Tokuba nyo. So, yes, I am saying, when these kind of things come up, it is incumbent upon the administration of parliament to say, "Lo, we have seen this; it is fraudulent, and therefore it assuages." Uh, 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 you came here and said it is not true. Yes, mm. and that's what we. Yeah. Now mm. the speaker doesn't come here. No. But she has officers of parliament who should be able. There's Obore. There's the. Kilachi We've had Sabiti here. Yeah? We have had Obore here. Yeah? Yes. Who should be able to come and say, tell the public this is not accurate? And they give. Now yeah. let's go back to the one of Hondo Puga. Mm. You have is really it, had a good morning. Yes, oh, is it usual mm. that, mem first of all, in the terms and written terms and conditions of members of parliament, they have their salary, they have their gratuity, they, they, they have they, their pension. They, just pause one minute. David in Kampala says, good morning, gang. Uh, does everyone get, uh, every LOP outgoing gets 500 million? Is it true the speaker got 2.5 something? Uh, the holders of those offices are not appointed or chosen on merit. He goes on, no other section of public service is squandering public resources. Can this be arrested? Only the other day, Parliamentary Commission dished out fuel guzzling monster SUVs. Yeah, now, now, the one of Mpuga, it is okay if you bring a law or a regulation of Parliament and say, we have seen lobs going away and becoming paupers after serving. Ca 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 no, yeah, even if they are rich, can we write in the law their benefits post their office, holding the office? That would be understandable. Now, if you make that argument for law to get, from Puga, let me now say, for this immediate law to get 500, what argument are you making for the commissioners who, from the media, we understand, got 400 million? If your argument is the Prime Minister is given benefits in perpetuity, yes. what justification does the Parliamentary Commission has for giving the current sitting commissioners <coughs> the alleged 400? Mm. What, what, are you, what are you equivalent uh, equivalenting? If there's such a word again, <laughs> if, what are you equivalenting the commissioners? Again, uh, yes, yes. What are you equivalenting now for them to get the 400 million? So. There is clearly something that is mind-boggling that the administration of parliament, and not just the administration of parliament, the entire government infrastructure should be. Because the Minister of Finance, the Prime Minister, are members of the Parliamentary Commission. How come that they paid probably a blind eye 
that this payment is made or is it because they are beneficiaries? Now, I need, we need now to, 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 to scratch the, the, because the Prime Minister is also a, a commission, I think. Yes. The, the, the Minister of Finance is, is, is a commission. Yes. Now, is it possible that they also partook the 400 million as the other commissioners took? Yep. Mm. Now, now, is it 400 or 500? 500. Okay. Now, we have had complaints just last week. Just last week, we had a complaint from Nathan Odur, Jonathan Odur, the, I think is FDC MP for a route, UPC. Eh, UPC, a route north, who stood on the floor of parliament and raised with the speaker, said, Madam Speaker, there is opaqueness in how the parliamentary commission. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. Where? Uh huh. Raised under a rule yes. that provides for asking questions yes. from a category, demanding funds from a category of, of including commissioners. Yes. And he said, I want, I have some questions for commissioners. Can I ask them? That, that was yes. what he said. Now, Not oh, oh, I, I, I need you yes. to conclude yes. so we get but more there has been discussion. A comment, including from Jonathan Odo, that some aspects of the commission workings are not entirely transparent even to the members of parliament and when they were handling the budget you remember there was a complaint that they needed the details of the parliamentary commission's budget wasn't fully disclosed to the members of parliament as if the budget the details of the budget of the parliamentary commission is handled more like what Samuja has been complaining about, the classified expenditure. Now, if things are done that way, we, the gallery, the public gallery, why do you think we shouldn't? And if we follow, if, if, oh, well no, if we who come on the gang here, cannot put parliament on the spotlight, who do we expect to put parliament on the spotlight? Okay. I don't expect ministers to put parliament on the spotlight because they fear that ah, if I if I put the parliament on the spotlight, I have my policy paper to be passed. I have my budget to be considered. So so so, so, so it must take good okay. faith. But this idea, yeah, yeah, okay. but, but, but this idea, yeah. uh, this idea that each time you raise something, you have been asked or you have been asked by another person or you are working for the, you know the, I, the other day no and and uh, no and and it has go, it has gone beyond parliament the other day. Uh, three weeks ago, I saw the Chief Justice of Uganda, my elder brother and friend, uh, Justice Owinyi Dolo, saying on the issue of Balara, I wrote a column, and I said, Justice Owinyi Dolo, this, 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 this dispute of the Balara may eventually come to your hand as Chief Justice. Now, if you are so passionate and public about it, tomorrow when this, this matter comes to you, want, you want people think that you have a vested interest. Yeah. And I saw him now attacking me, saying, uh, when he was opening the new the new lawyer, no, no, no new, new lawyer, no, 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 he made a false accusation. He said, he, instead of asking a lawyer can hold a question about Balala and so on, he said, the other day I saw Fono Pondo, he had been asked, hired by other people, to attack me. I did not attack him. I wrote my column. You Thank you. Oh, oh. Uh, you are giving well, Abdul a uh, chance to come in. Uh, uh, message here, Innocent says, it is very interesting how Honorable Katesh yeah. is addressing it is, it is, the it is, messenger, not the message. It, it, the Let's Bible, give scrutiny. But, 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 but the Bible says, mm. if oh, you have enjoyed 15 minutes. Like, Justice when you mm. thought he had an issue with me. Yeah, he no, should have called sorry, me. Sorry, if, sorry, if, Ivan, if, if not, you are on microphone now. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you all. Mm. Uh, yes, go on. Yes. Uh, thank you, Oscar. Yeah. Go on. Oscar. Yeah. Gentlemen, gentlemen, please I'm keep calm. Oh, oh, you you've had your <laughs> minutes of fame. Yeah. Ivan, I think on. these blazers need to sort yeah. out the <laughs> quite outside yes. the, <laughs> the studio. But I want to start with clarifying what Honorable Simuju said. He alleged. That the, that the issues in the parliament, that the, the NRM and the government have issues with the with the speaker, or insinuated, uh, uh, some some uh, some people have issues with the speaker and they want to recruit the same Jews and the people into uh, 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 Sharid Dinka. Mm -hmm. 
Oscar and the listeners, the issue is being raised are not personal. There is nothing personal about the speaker. The money is involved are public monies. Mm. The speaker of parliament occupies a public office. Mm. She owes a duty of accountability to the public to the public she serves. Nobody is uh, critiquing her for what she's doing in her private time. In, or in like fact, that. Uh, uh, our regular listener, Gift, mm. says mm. uh, Katesh is not honest in that one, mm. uh, saying who's funding the Uganda Parliament exhibition. Mm. This is started with potholes. Yes. So then from potholes to health, to now health. it is parliament. Uh, NGOs and all. Mm. So, so... The issue here, Oscar. Yeah. The, 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 the <laughs> the issue, no one is listening. Please go ahead. <laughs> the, the issue, Oscar, here is parliament, parliament, the parliamentary commission's abuse of, of power, mm. of its institutional and autonomous power. Because you see, the essence of putting in place a parliamentary commission was to give parliament autonomy, both in uh, power and uh, finances, and finances, so that it can do a good job checking, uh, executing its accountability function uh, to, to check the executive and the other as an independent arm of government. What they didn't envisage, or perhaps what now we know they wrongly assumed, was that this would be the, 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 the occupiers, occupants of this office would be men of, 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 of integrity beyond, rep, beyond rep, repute. What we are seeing now, you see what we call abuses, like Honorable Semuju hinted, you are in, in a parliamentary commission, you have power to determine your own emoluments and benefits. You sit in just in the first two years of your leadership of parliament, you revise your per diem, your travel per diem from $900 to four thousand dollars per day, that is an almost five hundred percent increment. And you're doing this in a context where <coughs> government has been talking about uh, frugality, freezing, hiring freezes in the government. Where we are saying, uh, uh, you know, let's hold tight and uh, use public resources prudently. The second thing, you are the institution tasked with the tasked with the mandate of holding others accountable scrutinizing budgets and all, and, and, and all of this. What signal does it... It may be legal because the law gives you power to determine these environments. But is it ethical? Is it moral? Is it sensitive to the existing public mood that you revise figures to such staggering numbers in, in such and such, a, in such, and such a, 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 you know, a time? That is the first question. Uh, for, for, for The Honorable uh, uh, O.O. has just given an example of uh, some of these abuses. No, I said, oh, oh eh. he's also an honorable person. He's, a, he's an honorable person. <laughs> you know what to go through. In Mulana, those of you who are the title honorable, and you pick money under the table. <laughs> Oh, Oscar. Oscar. I have only your microphone on. Oh, oh, keep calm. Yes. Oh, I need the protection. Pa pa Patricia, get me some water to give to. Yeah. Especially of one upon yeah. I need to be protected. Yes, only your microphone because, is on. Because yeah. I was giving an example. Oh, oh, yeah. gave, gave an example here of the speaker, or at least the documents imputing that the speaker was drawing this per diem, this staggering per diem figures in, in one day on apparently in two different if, uh, situations. Yes, I said apparently. I said the documents. Then you quote documents that are not. Oh, where, where? Ivan was silent ah. when you presented. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That you have, you have, that it no, is no, a fact. I said I said no, 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 no. You see, we, this is a national radio. We cannot engage in speculation. You know? I do not know. Yeah. I do not know why, why Kates. No, you should, you should. Oh. I have said. All, all, yes, yes. All the MPs are annoyed. Yes. They, uh, I need Please, protection. You are protected. And, and, and they don't you can have both. Both. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah. It's like that in the public domain. Yeah. yeah. And and the OO has said these documents have been in the public domain for now a week. Yes. Parliament, the honourable Chris, the, uh, Mr. Chris Obore, mm. the director of communications, only came out on the matter of the honourable Mpuga. And he did not say anything about the figures attributed to the speakers to the to the speaker of parliament. Now we have another document that the accounting office of parliament, the the uh, honourable Adolf Mwesige, drew the same pardons on 4th January 2024. In two places, he was also supposed to be in Nairobi, Kenya, 
to attend the seminar for nine days and simultaneously in Paris, France, to attend an IBA conference for also seven days. And he was drawing per diem, per diem of $870 per day for 14 days in two different occasions at the same time. You, 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 you see, that is the accounting officer of parliament. Mm. So what this shows, uh, uh, Oscar, is that the parliamentary commission is obviously abusing its power and it cannot be checked. They hold the appropriatory powers so the people will not check them, the ministers will not speak because their budgets will have to be tabled. The accountability committees which table the Auditor General's report and discuss it openly cannot, cannot query them because a secondment to these committees must have the, second, the endorsement of the speaker. So, so, so the Auditor General who checks government reports to parliament. The IGG, who is also the ombudsman, also gets her budget appropriated by parliament. So the question is, who should check the parliamentary commission? And yes. I think that this is the conclusion mm. now in the public in the in the in the in the public in the in the in the public domain that the parliamentary commission needs to be checked because they, they have and the Honorable Semuju has confessed that members of Parliament are unofficially censured from querying this because if you query you will not speak, you will not travel. You will not uh, if have you, if you jump on the table. If you three jump times, on the table three times, you will not. You speak. are finished. So for some of you to keep at that, to be to be. <laughs> <laughs> So, so, yes. so for the honorable yeah, Samuju no to continue to check the executive, he must not check parliament. Because, right. uh, because uh, 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 he must not check the leadership of parliament. Because if he checks the leadership of parliament, he will never be allowed to speak or to travel or to do or, or any other privileges attendant to the... He, I am interpreting. He's, he, he said he's not an idiot. He said that he's not an idiot because he must be tactical in how he conducts. So if he must continue to speak up on other issues he's passionate about, he must be tactical on how he goes around. Uh, uh -huh, so he cannot attack her. So... So, so, so we need to Malcolm. now to shift mm. the conversation. The lawyers need to guide us and know how to revise the, 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 the autonomy or to check the autonomy of, 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 the, of, the, parlia of, the, of the parliamentary. <laughs> then they will, that law will have to come to parliament for parliament to debate and pass that law. So, so, so what we are witnessing is state capture by parliament. Because, because, <laughs> because, <laughs> because all the other agents are supposed to check parliament cannot because it has appropriated powers. And it is the chap, it holds all accountability committees. It is the Auditor General reports to them. The IGG's budget is appropriated by them. So who will check Parliament? Abdul, appreciate that you what are Ivan, ready for this discussion. What Ivan is saying, mm. so these cases you will encounter them mm. in Kasokoso. But hold on. Just a second. Mm. My people have been fighting with police over land. Mm. And police is arresting them. We have nowhere to go. <laughs> because they are the ones who are responsible for arresting. You can only report police, yet they are the ones who are going to arrest you. Mm. Are you as well prepared as O.O. and Ivan? O.O. has even jumping. <laughs> <laughs> as you made the point. I, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure I can, I can match their preparedness. <laughs> yeah. Because I think they... they, they, they... To end all this... No, no, it hasn't ended. No, to end all this... <laughs> not to the, mic, the microphone. To end all this debate, mm. let the members of parliament adversely named to have been traveling mm. publish one yes. their passport pages yes. in the last six months mm. two mm. let them let the immigration the, 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 give us just, a just hold a bit let, don't deny malcolm let, his presentation let, let, i'll come back to you and this will mm. end yeah, yeah I, I i i i think that's a little a little excessive uh, from from excessive. from oo in uh, in terms of in, in terms of of the the kind of accountability that we are looking for because rather no. rather than now katesh should be the moderator he's getting everyone to keep quiet <laughs> go on malcolm but 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 i think i, th I think that 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 what, what <laughs> ivan ivan ends by by saying there's a state there's a state capture by parliament mm. uh, and 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 before there was capture by pinetti and so the, clearly there is capture everywhere and i would like to agree with him that there is capture of state institutions because you spoke earlier about these exhibitions and how they have come around. Mm. The exhibition side with potholes went to health, went to civil society at some point, is now at parliament. When you are in the hot seat, when it is you being scrutinized, 
that is when it becomes uncomfortable. And the, 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 the parliamentarians' faces here, are, 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 and, and understandably so. Uh, but, but you see, and it's because in the court of public opinion, you're actually, unlike in our no more, you're guilty until you prove yourself innocent. That is how it is. Everyone is going to begin to look at uh, the burden shifts, and, and, it's, and it's, it's, it's more than just what it, what it is, it's what it looks like as well. And, and that's why the, the Honorable Mpuga is facing the challenge that he's facing. That's why it's going to be very difficult for, uh, for the Speaker of Parliament to, re, to, to address, because there's so much around her that looks like opulence. And then when you, 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 you marry that with what is being revealed now, it begins to make sense, to add up. And probably you can't blame Ivan for, try, for, for choosing to believe the, the, the documents that he's seeing online. But true, th this can be taken advantage of as well. I, I think that we should be scrutinizing the processes. Because the people will always change. There will always be different people coming in. I do not think that there, there was a, an assumption that uh, parliamentary commissioners will be su such judicious people that they cannot be able to, to be checked at all. There are processes for checking them. You can check uh, them in, in, the, in the courts of law. However, in the courts of law, you're so worried because there's capture. There we were discussing recently about how when the judiciary has, has been captured, where do you go? Because you, go, you need to go back. To the, to the judiciary. So I, I, I think that um, whereas the ideas are understandable, uh, um, and uh, and uh, Honorable Bokatun talked about the, the and, and I think it's what uh, all called equivalenting, but trying to equate what is happening in the in the in the opposition with what is happening in in, in government and those positions. I do not know uh, Honorable Semuju is a minister in a shadow cabinet minister and is expected to check his fellow. He's expected to check check his fellow minister uh, and and what. And, and the excesses that they are, that they are, that they are going in under. However, the budget that he's, he has access to is nowhere near okay. what, what the mm. others have. The, 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 let, let him finish. Let, let him finish. Let, okay. um, let him finish. Uh, yes. Actually, means has also paid Yes, yes. An allowance. An allowance, allowance yes. yes. Uh, for oh, being a shadow minister. 1.5 1. 1. million. The yeah, the equivalent. 1.5 million, million per, per month. The equivalent, it is there, even for shadow ministers. Uh, but, <laughs> but, uh, I, 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 I don't tell know. the listeners yes. uh, that I've been allowed, we have been allowed 10 minutes. So, uh, you'll get a chance. Okay. Though the MPs want the show to finish. <laughs> but we are. <laughs> 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 the ones who have sponsored the 10 minutes. <laughs> so, so. so so what, what, and, and if we are if we are to have that debate, and it could be a progressive one, that we are starting with the, the, the leader of opposition versus the leader of government business, we will progress to, but we, we, we are actually part of, of we, we are having a conversation, an open and genuine conversation about the need to uh, provide uh, adequate um, remuneration okay. to the people that, that actually hold these Thank uh, you, holds offices. Okay. Just lastly, lastly mm. that, that the, the idea of social media activism, which is what, what this exhibition okay. is, is, is a, it should actually be welcomed by the very parliamentarians who are here. Yes. Because we, 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 know, we know that there, there are several avenues for attempting to, to hold public officers accountable. There are several avenues for sharing information. When this information comes, whereas you need to check the veracity of its source, you don't then just throw it away simply because it has come. The source might be questionable, but is the information valid? And what do you do with it? How do you bring a good thing out of it, make some lemonade with those lemons that have been thrown at us, and how do we ensure that we, we, we you, are able to, to check parliament, parliamentary thank commission you, thank and you. the excesses that are there? So, oh, oh, one minute in the 10 minutes that we've been allocated, seven to go. Give I give him half. <laughs> <laughs> the honors is on the leadership of our country, starting with the president, like we said here, now, to make sure that we live up to the what we have said ourselves that we shall be transparent, we shall be accountable okay. to the public. Thank you. In the specific case of, of Parliament, I said earlier on to end this debate. If it is not true, just bring your passport and say I have never travelled to Kenya. Yeah. You travel to Rwanda. And I do not have that money. Spain, and that will Even end. if you don't bring the passport, if you just say I have never. It is no, a big, you remember in uh, 2010, at the scandal of the OPM, there was a report, purported auditor report, which said the first lady, in one week, had traveled to Israel three times. Yeah. 
And the first lady came out and said, here, I have no, I have not traveled. And that matter ended. Temujin, so, you're one minute. As, as I said at the beginning, Oscar, mm. <clears throat> I think uh, the leadership of parliament and us MPs must correct mistakes where they have happened. Because the moment you are criticized, some of the criticism is meant to improve you. Mm. But as, also, as I said, uh, there are people who are going to take advantage of anything and even exaggerate. And I know Fonopono is one of them. <laughs> Because he yeah. has his own issues. He has been the, waiting since yesterday, yeah. as you know. Yeah. I, I have seen him. He was almost <laughs> walking in Ekkad on Kampala streets because of this. So there, there, there. I am not concluding. Uh, there, there, yeah. there, Oscar. So, yeah. so there will be because in the nope you have had the an ongoing fight. Yeah. So anything will be received and exaggerated. exaggerated. But I think as Parliament we must not assume that we can yeah. be beyond scrutiny. Okay, Abdul, your one minute. Accountability is accountability, and as I said at the beginning of this show, all my contribution. Any public office is subject to scrutiny and the spotlight is not okay my only problem is whenever there is some information out there one before we judge especially the one which comes on social media try to look into it and see could this be true or not okay and lastly uh about uh, this particular 500 and my brother puga you see oscar when we are founding fdc you got all of us from different backgrounds and throw of us in the same party. We came with the different uh, intentions and so on, and chances that we are going to end up where we have ended up, we are high. So is this NUP, when it was founded up, from all <laughs> others, from yeah. a stage, others from a bank, others from thank you, thank you. Uganda. That is your one minute. Chances that it could end up like it is. You know, Oscar, we are high. First of all, there is social media activism. It, it, it's, it's good if it is focusing on issues of accountability, like my colleague has mentioned. But I have been a victim of social media blackmail. There is a time someone said that I was earning 400 million a week as a commissioner. And I know some people, including on this, on this table, who quickly jumped on it. You know? Who? Oh, Samuel Joe? No. <laughs> no. Uh -oh. So I want to say, and, 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 no, 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 listen. And I want to say, and I want to say, you are left no, no. with half a minute. No, oh, oh, he's my friend. I sometimes did, ah. we hit each other on the side. But you see, when no, oh, is your friend, you don't I, need I, I listened to Capital yeah. Gang. I've been a listener of Capital yeah. Gang. Mm. And oh, oh, has been in, he's my brother, he has been, even at home, we have shared a cup of tea. But I want to say that as a public, sometimes you have to take social media issues with caution. Mm. They are a quicker route to bring people down very quickly. Because yeah, you yeah, see, yeah, by yeah. the time you explain yourself, I mean, been mm. you know, you have already been condemned. There are people whom I meet and they are apologizing over comments they made over social media blackmail. Thank Even you, thank years you. Down the line. In a so, one and a half minutes, let's, let's have Ivan close this down. Uh, so first, I think uh, I have said uh, what I have to say on the on the, on this matter. I think that one point though that uh, the attrition rate of Parliament is uh, between sixty to seventy percent. So every five years, about sixty to seventy percent of, of members of do not return to the house. That is why. That is why what the Honourable Senator was suggesting is the right thing to do. That if we were saying, we were saying that laws are passed to apply uh, prospectively and not retrospectively, it would be a, de a decent thing because the, the MPs would legislate prudentially, knowing they are not the benefit; they will not be the immediate beneficiaries of their own laws. That would go a long way in checking the in this excess. Finally, mm. uh, and then related to this, I have been uh, assigned by the producer of the show, Patricia. Uh, no, 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 this mm. is not an advert, but uh, there is a regular listener of this show. I think over the last 20 years, uh, my friend uh, is Ram Gumamwene Yonjera, he has been a listener of this show for the last, I think, 20 years. In 2016, he suffered a stroke, and he has been... Uh, 
uh, grounded uh, since then, for now close to seven years. But he never misses either the capital gang or desert island districts, and he's written uh, routinely about this show. So recently he asked that the gangsters, that the gang gets him this book by Onapito Komolite, Trials and Triumphs, and autographs all the gangsters, autograph a copy for him. Okay. So, Thank so, you. So, uh, so, That's, uh, so I have... Uh, I have done the honors of procuring the book, and I am. Uh, I would like to request the gangsters official to autograph a copy for, uh, for Mwene Onjela. Thank you. That's a good way to end the show. Thank you, listeners of the Capital Gang, uh, for listening in today. Thank you very much, the members of parliament on the show. I've seen how members of parliament uh, can be rowdy and reasonable <laughs> when their issues are tackled. Yes, yeah, so thank you. Uh, I am Oscar Semoyam Suke, and I shall see you next week. Thank you, Star Cafe, as well. <laughs>